Hey guys, this is Jamin bringing you another key repair video today. I have an Asus K55A laptop and I'm going to show you how to replace one of these small uh, normal letter size keys. Uh, now in the first part of the video, I'm going to show you how to remove a key safely without breaking it. I'm doing this because sometimes you cannot find these keys for sale uh, individually online and then your only option is buying uh, a new or used keyboard and then taking a key off of that keyboard to put onto yours. Uh, in the second half of the video, I'll show you how to put the key back on and, and install it safely without breaking it. Uh, so now we'll get into the video. So I'm gonna take my flathead screwdriver and I'm gonna place it in between the, the keycap, which is this top part, and the retainer clip, which is underneath. And the idea here is for me to hold down the retainer clip while I peel off the keycap so that the clip doesn't bend and break uh, when, I'm, when I'm taking this off. So I'll show you what it looks like under there after I get it off. So bend it up a little bit, get the screwdriver under there, go across. Okay, so that came off relatively easily. And as you can see, my uh, flathead screwdriver is holding down this black clip. And I fortunately missed the uh, rubber spring component in the center. That's only held on by glue. Um, very hard to get that back down if, if you rip that up. So be, be careful with that. Uh, the retainer clip is going to, um, in most models, will look like this. It's a two-part retainer clip, one outside plastic component, one inside, and they fit together uh, by two little plastic pins in, inside um, towards the middle on, on each side. Uh, they're held down by four metal pins near each corner. In some models, some smaller models, there'll just be one metal pin in the center on, on one side. Uh, but this is generally how you're gonna see it laid out. Some clips are black, some are white, uh, some can be clear-ish. So the way to get this up is you're gonna look at the pins nearest the edges. So in my case, it's these two on top are closest to the edge. And I'm gonna get this off by taking my fingernail and pressing up as much as I can, try to get as much wiggle room as, as I can, while I slowly and gently pry the plastic out from under the metal. And when I get it out, I'll show you the very uh, breakable component that I'm gonna try not to break here. So th this is probably where you're gonna break it if you do break it in, in this process. So be very careful here. So just gonna push up. Get that up there, okay. So luckily that came up without too much trouble. I'll, I'll move this up so you can see the clip. So right here, if you see this little plastic pin here and this little plastic pin here, that's what I was trying not to break. These are extremely thin, extremely delicate, and they're wedged underneath that, that metal pin. So the idea is, is to get these out from under the, the metal pin. If you just put your screwdriver in there and push up, these will snap right off. And then your retainer clip won't sit securely down, in which case when your key snaps onto it, it it'll keep falling off. So that's your most important step probably there is to not break those when you're taking this off. If these come undone in this process, mine stay together. If they come undone, you can just put them back together. You're gonna to see two plastic pins on either side of the inner clip that look kind of like these. They fit into holes on the outer clip. Again, be very careful not to break those just like these. Um, and if you need help in if, if they came apart and you don't know how to get them back together, you can always take off another cap and then re reference how, how that looks. So in order to put this back on, uh, I took the top off first. Now I'm gonna put the bottom down first. So we're going in, in, in kind of reverse. So get that down. I put the bottom in first and slid it underneath its metal uh, clips. And then I've made sure this whole part is relatively centered. Once you get this in somewhat of this position, all you should have to do is push down on either corner and snap it in. Just like that. So that's in there correctly. You put your cap back on, and same thing, you get that centered and then you press, just like that. And that's how you would fix a small letter key. Uh, if you wanted to see how to do a larger key, like enter, uh, shift space, uh, look at the video link below in the description. That'll be a link for a video on those larger keys. Uh, please like and share if this is helpful. Any questions or comments, leave them below. I do try to get back to you guys a few times a day. Uh, and uh, please subscribe if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks for watching guys.